let me delete this one. We're going to use mine, right? So hit it. Um, sh click, wait, wait. Click, shift, rotate. And then let's just set it up. You know, let's just go ahead and ring uh, I think I just need to bend it because that angles bothering me so let me go to this actually I think all we would need to do is get not this one I always forget the location um, this So get this, um, oops, take the size out here, put this right here. Oh no, my bad, I did that all wrong. So you gotta take this, put it in the FFD. Let's forget if it's one of those. Oh nah, so this is the other way. FFB have to be, has to be a child of the ring. And then we can manipulate it. So now just take these. I'll take them all. This right here, this right here. Pull this like this. Deselect, deselect. Pull it back some more. Okay. Just to make this thing curve, you know? We're not gonna see any of that back stuff, so it's not gonna matter. All right, so there's this. Just let me choose everything. There's this, this. And we'll do a Alt G. Uh, So we'll just call this our back plate. I don't want to see that FFD, so I'll just turn off the visibility. The effect's still there. All right, so we'll slam this. Hey, Serge, what did it say on that thing again? On the, uh, on the, um, is it built for tough or what does it say? That's what it says? Yeah. Okay. It says built forward and then on the bottom it says tough? Yes. Okay. So let's just bang this out real quick. Might as well. So let's just go to Mo, Mo text. Um, 
Let me get something that I think looks like it. I think it was just like some flat, maybe some impact. So I'm either going aerial black or It's definitely not it. Yeah, it's just go aerial black, right? Oh, oh, is it built for tough or does it actually say built for tough? It's like built on the top, then forward below it, then tough below that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because I was like, it says forward twice. All right, my bad. Um, so we'll go tough. Put this under. We're going to use and I think it has some like brackets or something. Let's make this bigger, just kind of match the tough a little bit. C to make it editable, NB. Right click, loop path, cut. Bring it up somewhere nine, Get rid of this. All right, let's do this fast. Go get myself a box selection. Size it up a little bit. Move these two. Get a face right here. Give me that face. All right, right click, extrude. All right, cool. So we got this shape. Nine points. This. I think it looks something like this. As long as we have it set up, we're fine. Okay. This is this. We'll do the final cube.
All right, do like this. All right, so there's this. Flip around this way. E. And I should do it like this. Click shift. Am I tripping? There's this one, this one. Okay, this thing. Let's go name it back block. All right, so then we just copy these. Control click, I rotate, click shift, 180. Thing looks something like this, something like it. Um, this right here, let me just go ahead and round it off some more. And where was this? Okay. Here we go. All right. See it's editable point rectangle. Just make this look nice. I guess it's mainly that. All right, now let's just set up everything. So we know this is that, it's just the back plate, the text, cubes. You know, let's put all of this inside of this back block. And then we have our text. And back plate and the full logo. Is this everything? No, it's not. Just so know I'm looking at this logo. Oh, this is that back plate. Okay. So let's put everything in its destination. So we have the logo. this all right so we can say like that's perfect right just bring in this back piece Well, actually, let's just take both of these and push this right here. These two Motex, just move them up for now. This back block. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put those letters in there. And these right here, I might as well select them all, right click, connect objects plus delete, then go get their edges. And you know what I'm gonna do, bevel. Nine, okay. Um, this Motex knee knee action. I 
I'll just do that. And on this one, caps. Okay, and then this right here, and this one. Let's take a float, doesn't really matter. They just need to be there. All right, so this will be the whole setup. And I'll just do Alt G. I mean, wait, Alt G. All right, so now I have the whole thing. I'm gonna raise it up. Just because I want it. Above the line, now I'm gonna set myself up a camera. So I'm gonna click on camera. I'm also gonna click on it, get out of it. But I wanna look at its coordinates. So let's do zero, zero, zero. And the reason I did that is so it's in the, um, the middle of the world. And I got to make that zero and this zero. Hmm. I would think it would show directly on the center, but it feels like it's off. Well, I guess it looks like it, but the real test is inside of here when we go inside of the camera. Hmm. Well, let's just set it up like this line is coming straight at us. There's a way to look in the camera. Um, let me see. Uh, basic. Should be like guides. Physical. Yeah, this is it. Let's use golden section. And then let's go back in our camera. Matter of fact, if we just center this logo, then we'll be all good. We can zoom back and everything else. Oh no. All right, let me get back in here. All right, so Z will be our zoom and Y will be our height. Let's not mess with the Y so much. If we zoom in here, we can kind of get this on the edges and say, all right, this is our center. It's all good as long as we have it here. Okay, so since this is the um, final destination, I guess, for all the letters, we'll use this. I mean, not for all the letters, for our total logo. Um, 
and we can say this is our this is where we want everything to land or to end up now we just got to think about how long we want it let's make it three seconds right 24 let's just say 75 frames You know, what? let's just do it 30. Let's just do it a whole 90 since this thing's already set up for 90. So we'll do that. Um, so first, if it's 90, we should keyframe our camera where it is right now. And we can take it back. Set these keyframes. And then we'll animate all this stuff like coming in. Into here. So we're going to have this back part fly in. Black part, fine, the letters, and then the fort. 